Hi, welcome to Nightcap, the bi-weekly web show, where two friends unwind with the topics that make us hot. My name is Richard Pucci, and I got COVID tested today, and I was a negative, and, and I am currently laying on a couch because I am now super lazy, and every nightcap is done from a couch, and I have the amazing Joy, the real content creator, Nickens. Hello. Who, who did test positive for COVID-19 back after uh, Thanksgiving, but then tested negative on Kwanzaa. Hey. Woo, it's a Kwanzaa miracle. Kwanzaa miracle, bitch. <laughs> Ooh, and we got Chris on the chat. Yay! Oh, Chris, we nice. missed you. And 2021. Woo, 2021, we made it. We made it. We made it. Uh, Chris said, Richard looking sunburnt over here. Mm. And you know what? That's from my mask. That's it's from, so good. I'm, he's alive, laugh out loud, barely. Oh. <laughs> we all are welcome to 2021 this is uh dear god <laughs> this this is it's a thing we are either alive no star burns oh these are you talking about my, my sideburns there okay oh i thought oh we got rick oh, oh star oh my god wait I don't know anything. They look like star. Oh, we, we've never I, watched Community, so I I don't know. I, they are my. I wish that I was a 17th century vampire. Huh. <laughs> they are. Oh yeah, they're coming on. down. All right now. Ooh. Oh wow. See, like men have this thing with their facial hair, and I'm like, oh, you can do so much glam with your face, like. <laughs> Yeah, I it's. It. I was gonna say, and also, I I quit smoking, so Ooh. I'm I'm still on the patch. No, and it has nothing to do with new. Like, it's not a resolution. Mm. Um, it was because of uh, uh my mouth, uh because of uh getting my my molars out. So I didn't want to deal with dry socket, and also I figure if I'm gonna have to not smoke during that, um, then I should probably just quit, and. Ooh, I actually have something I can talk about eventually. Uh, I have a board game that I can talk about. Oh, I got a game too that Baby bought me, oh, so that we could play together. That's so cool. Yeah, it, it's it's called. That's what she said. Wait, like, play how? Like the innuendo. Like we could. I mean, Baby and I played it. I, I, I'm saying we, as in me and her, and also me and you, and also anybody that was. <gasps> yes, because I always want to do like fun things oh on on Nightcap, but I'm always like, we can't. No, we can't. I mean, we can't. This. I was gonna oh. say, except for Jackbox, which the night that we did Jackbox, that was so much fun. Yeah, this. I mean, I would. Pref it would probably be <laughs> dope if we could all play this in person, but it's yeah. called. That's what she said. That's what she said. It was so fun playing it with Vivi, and then I, I we played um, on Apple Music. They have a sex playlist where it's like the top one hundred sexy songs of whatever of all time. It's funnier than what it sounds like. You would think, "Ooh, put you in the mood." It's not. It's hilarious yeah. when you start hearing like Ludacris and it's like, it, <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say it's cheesier. It's more cheesy than getting you in the mood sort of thing. Yes. I try to tell them, um, like I mentioned, my, my best friends, my other best friends. I mean, you're one of my best friends. But telling <laughs> Kelly and Maddie, like, oh, my God, we should play this. And the Maddie was like, oh, I don't know, like, doing it. Because, you know, doing it with, you know, playing it with their boyfriends and fiance. And I'm like, no, no, no. It's funny when you when you hear, like, yeah. I'm going to lick, 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 lick you from your And it's like, <laughs> like it's really hard Maddie. Like, the, but, you know. I was going to say, but you know what's funny about that song? Like, I can't, like, I don't understand how that song could be considered, like, sexy as hell. I'm like, I think, I think lo-fi beats, Ooh. I think that, that listening to lo-fi beats, uh, I was going to say, Chris or, or Rick, if you've ever, um, if you've never heard of lo-fi beats to, like, study or chill to, like, that's, like, 
to me, that's like probably the sexiest. Like, if you're talking about like music, otherwise, I'm like just anything on TV. Yeah, like, like I enjoy lo-fi beats, yeah. not to have sex to. Um, I do. I have a I have a particular artist that sounds lo-fi-ish that I've had sex to. But nice. normally, yeah, I, Joy has sex. Oh yeah, I was, well, not this year, but you know. <laughs> but, I, I'm I, so sorry. I'm so I'm immature. No, 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 it's fine. I, I I'm do. like Joy has sex. Yeah, like every once in a while, like sex happens, and then I'm just like, oh. <laughs> but, but not my my whole life has not been like sex. This, you know. Uh, but yeah, it was just fun to play it and to have the fun. What like what sex songs gonna pop up next? And it's literally like so funny. It's just it's foolish. So yeah, we got a game. Woo. I a have game. a game, and it is uh, cat and mouth. Cat and mouth. Oh yes, I was gonna say no. It's not actually sexy at all. Here, wait, hold on. I'm gonna just grab it. Yay! Cat and and mouth. Oh, that's funny! Yo, she's she is just like, what the hell are you doing? Why did you leave? I was you were here, and I was here, and now you're you're walking around. What are you doing? I, I love watching her movements. Also, she looks very soft. Look at her. She looks so soft. She's just sunk in the couch, chilling. She's like, why did he leave? Oh, he's back. Oh, he's coming back. Okay. He's here. Okay. okay. She, she, like, is fully aware that she's the star of the show. Oh, completely. She, she, was, she was like, it's about me. Yeah. Um, all right. So this is a game of cat and mouth by the makers Ooh. of uh, Exploding Kittens. Okay. And, like, literally set up is, like, a second. So I will show you. Uh, this is an unbox. No, it's not an unboxing. So it's literally just like boom and boom. And what you do is you have these magnetic cat paws and you shoot, you shoot balls to the other side. You, you literally shoot balls to the other side and there are like little oh. balls in here for like the teeth. And so you can either like shoot the news the nose ball over to the other side and that's like an automatic win or if you get three of the teeth balls on the other person's side that's a win or if you get or if all four or all eight yellow balls on the other person's thing you win and it seems like this would not be like a fun game oh my gosh it is the funnest game ever it is so much fun and like like in case you're wondering like oh wow how would like a magnetic like slingshot work like Oh, like, wow. Like, here, wait. I'm just going to show you. Because it's, like, this game is actually a lot of fun. Hey, Rodney! Um, oh, my God. I would, like, this game is, like, weirdly fun. And, like, so. Here, wait. I'm just going to, like, show you. Just, like. Oh, look at Joe. Look at Joe. Yeah, but, like. Like, it's, like. It, like, slings. Like, it's, like, crazy. Um, So, with, like, both sides just, like, slinging. It's it's fun. Where it did has you from uh, Target, twenty bucks. Oh, okay, Target. Yes, I would love to like figure out a way to like be like, oh, if like one person had like, I would love to be able to figure out how to like virtually like like figure something out as far as like oh like distance wise to be able, but because they land on the other side, you can't. But, like, if it, like, just instantly, like, just came back, then, like, oh, yeah, I'd be, like, who could knock over? Because, like, and, like, these things are, like, <sighs> oh, I was going to say, Rodney just said, Joey's getting a cute little fro now. Yes, I do. Like, it's, you know what's crazy? I was, as much as I'm, like, I love the way my hair is growing right now, I was going to cut it only because my mom with breast cancer and my mom's bald and my dad shaved his hair, he's bald. So I was like asking my parents, like, should I do it too? Like, do you want me to do it? And my yeah. mom's kind of like, ah. I'm like, oh, just freaking tell me. Like, I want to, I'm going to do it. I want to do it in solidarity, but I'm also yeah. like, 
does she have to tell me to shave my head? Like, it's kind of like she's like, if she said yes, then she's forcing me and then I have to make a decision. I should just do it on my own if I want to. Yeah. Uh, like, but it's winter and I'm just like, ah. It's going to be, it's going to be cold. And then, ah. but, but also by summertime, it's going to be too hot. And then you're going to be shaving it anyway. And then, and then it's like, oh, well, you could have just done it. But also, if you're doing something in solidarity with somebody, like it, like it's it's a place of like either like I would say if your heart is telling you do it, and if you joyfully want to do it, then do it. But if like, but if you're like, oh well, like you know, dad did it. I was like, then if like if you're okay, don't to don't feel do don't feel guilt either way. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's one of those things that um. That can sort of happen um, is this uh, feeling, in which case, I think you were talking about it last year, dealing with New Year's, about right. how you were like, this is the year of me. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, be down on my knees with obligations. Like, if I want to do something, I'm going to do it. And if I don't want to do it, I'm not going to force myself to do it. So yeah. I'm giving you permission, as well as you last year gave yourself permission that if you want to do something, do it. If you don't, don't. If you're not sure, guess what? That's what time's for. True. Sure. True. Wow. Thank you. Oh, wait. And look at this. Look at this. So cleanup is a breeze. Look at this. This is a cat and mouth commercial. <laughs> yeah. No, no. For tw True. like, seriously, 20 bucks. Boom. I set that up in like a second and I. It's ready to go. It's ready to go. And you can just like bring it to somebody's house. Just like, pfft. like it's 20 bucks. Uh, same makers of uh, exploding kittens. Mm -hmm. Boom. And like, oh, I love that. Yeah, and like literally, that is how easy it is. The bag oh, is so cute. And like the um, uh, the commercial for it, it's like the most epic, like glow tastic thing I've ever seen. Like, <laughs> and like the way that they like explain their games, basically, they spend like they're they are like the game version of like the poopery people. Oh, uh, uh, as like far you. as. Yeah, as far as, like, being, like, super, like, self-aware and, like, this is how you play. Like, on the box, it says, like, a fiercely competitive, magnet-powered, highly addicting pinball-ish game from the creators of Exploding Kittens. It's like playing pinball with, sling with slingshots. Huh. Sounds about right. Like, very buzzy. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't have a magnetic paw. Ah. 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 again. Okay. Yeah, I know. She she hates me. She legitimately hates me. She's like, okay, I'm gone. <laughs> She's like, I'm I'm done with you, uh, Mr. Rodney. Now, I was gonna say, now that was random that we both had like game things. Mm -hmm. So if you guys have any game things, uh, let us let us know. Yeah, let us know. I'm so happy that my baby got me that. Like, like give gave that to me for Christmas. I'm waiting on her Christmas gifts to come, which should be tomorrow. Did you go with the box? Or no? Box? Say it, but like also what? Uh, a box? Oh, yes. Yes, I did. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. And, okay, I was and, just... and other things. Like, <laughs> I was like, box. what are you talking about? And I'm just like, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. that, that's the, those things are, um, uh, I mean, <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. I mean, it's it's. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's it should be coming. I'm hoping by like tomorrow or Thursday, like the things should be coming. Yeah. Um, I wish I we could just like fucking be here already, but they're they're coming. Um, and then also it's like I'm doing. So I was, I'm already late for Christmas, but I don't want to be late because our anniversary is coming up, and yeah. it's gonna be four years. So I'm just like. I, I want to make sure that, that that stuff is coming too. Like I gotta make sure that that stuff comes on time. And yeah. Ah, so other than that, like yeah, it's it's coming though. They're coming. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Now, do you have any? Uh, oh, <laughs> Rodney, say what box? Oh, it's um. I'll show it on screen, but um. Don't say anything, guys. I'm not gonna. Yeah, we're not gonna say nothing. But I'll just show it on screen so that you guys can and in, see. And in case if anybody's watching from like the other room, look away. 
You've waited this long. Because <laughs> as far as I know, Bibi is painting. Because okay. she's back there painting. But, huh? Are you watching right now? You better, you better stop it. Okay. So it's, it's from... It's from this place, and y'all tell me if this was like a good idea, like to put it. I mean, you could clearly see the order number, but I'll try to. Oh put yeah, it. oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell them to reroute it to my house. You better not. It's from that place, and I did, I did this. If you guys can see it. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, that's I one of the things. I love that sort of stuff because it's something to look forward to, honestly. Like, yeah. that's that's always nice. And who doesn't like randomly getting something via that way? Yeah. And it's something she has mentioned before. And I was like, not specifically that thing, but she was yeah. just like, oh, I would like to have blah, 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 service or blah, 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 blah thing. And I'm just like, Okay. Well, she kind of okay. She kind of already knows like it's something. It's a subscription yeah. to something, yeah. but you don't know where or what. So oh. I was just like, yeah. I mean, I and I said like if I ever had money, you know, to really enact that, I would want to do it. And then yeah. quarantine happened, and it was like, bitch, like you're home. You got something. Let, let's try it now. <laughs> Twenty twenty one. Yeah. So yeah. So that's one of the things that's coming. You want to hear something weird that I saw? Yeah, what? There was, I saw on Etsy, there are people that actually create, like, like subscription boxes, but, like, they do it themselves. Really? Yeah, like, I, I, like, I saw, like, horror, like, like, horror book boxes on Etsy. Oh, maybe I need to check that out, because I don't have that. I've never seen that. Yeah, it, like, you just, uh, that reminded me, um. I'll definitely search that page and be like, what y'all got? Horror oh, book creative. box. Because, like, I always think of... Yeah, because I always think of... Oh, like, this is so cool. I'm about to, like... Oh, wait. I can do a thing. I'm going to do a thing. You're going to share the screen? I'm going to try. Please, guys, don't look at my porn. <laughs> the porn is not on your regular server. It's in your private incognito server. Oh, heck no. I'm like, <laughs> I'm an adult. This is my computer. <laughs> Does that sound awful? I'm just you like, know. no. I'm like, I don't. Oh, wait. Damn it Ooh. to hell. It's mystery, though. Yeah, so this is a mystery uh, box. Uh, this I is like a mystery it. one, but like, because like the thing that I think about it is, is that like, because you don't, because it's just weird, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. so that's like a like a some sort of like wizard sort of themed. A lot of people liked it. Um, mm. Loved everything I received. The books are definitely right up my alley, and not to mention the other items are legitimately things friends might get me, especially the little notebook and the marshmallow skull. Oh, wow! Right? In which case, I, can, I was going to say that's a little. I would say that's a little pricey. I mean, it's personalized, like in a way. Oh, so. look at this! A blind date with a book. A blind date with a book. Mystery book. Book gift surprise, but oh my gosh, what is this? Wish? <laughs> oh god, I, and I've never ordered from Wish before. I was I was told it was not good. Oh, look at this! The packaging was adorable. I'm a bit I'm a tad bit obsessed with the little key that came with the packaging. The book felt almost new until I looked at it and saw a few scratches. I don't mind used books; it gives them a certain charm that I love. The book that I got actually seems like something I would pick up at a store to read. So needless to say, I can't wait to have, oh, and it's called a blind date book. Okay. Screen that just... The screen that you're seeing, I don't see. Oh, really? Damn it to heck. Hmm. Oh, damn it to heck. I just see the this eight options of 
Mm. The film, but the stuff you read, I can't. I can't see that. Oh, you know what it is? That's because it opened on a new thing. That's poop. That sounds like. I want to. I want to <laughs> open it in the same window. Oh, it's. Why I sound like an old person. <laughs> How do you do this? I legitimately just sounded like an old person. I was like, what's going on here? It's not okay. opening in the same window. Okay, there you go. Okay. So this is like, you get, like, so it has, like, cute little packaging, but it's, it's a blind, they call it a blind date book. And the person was like, I'm obsessed with the key that it comes with. Oh, okay. look at that. And they, like. Look at that. See, like, I was going to say, Joy, we need to get in on this because we could go to a used bookstore, get a book for like $2 and yeah. just like go to Michael's and like get some cute, like witchy stuff. Like, boom. Blind it from the back. Exactly. But in which case, that definitely does look really cute. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, yeah, they put time and effort into that. Like, that's really cool. Joy, look at the, these people are making money. Anybody, look, did you, I, on Twitter, mm -hmm. I saw these three white girls making money off of Mahjong. Like, they made Mahjong into a $300 a game club. Like, are you fucking serious? Like, you turned a Chinese game <laughs> into... Coachella for white chicks. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Yo, people making money off of every, any, and everything. You know what? Uh, our our <laughs> nightcap viewers, get ready for the nightcap loot box. Ew, ew, ew. We're gonna drop it down with the exclusive nightcap notebook. Nightcap our notebook. <laughs> Already been partly used by either me or Joy. Only two pages used. Yo, I got, I got, I got notebooks for days around here. <laughs> right, like first two pages, like, oh, this is great. We're gonna get this stuff. Nope. Personally used, and we'll even write a message. Hey, Rod. Boom. Ricky will write in it, and then he'll send it to me, and then I'll write in it, and then we'll send it off because I'm I. We live near a post office. I can just send it off. You know, whoever. <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. Bam. Or Boom. It would be now that bullet is better. I could drive to you, pick it up, and then I can send it off. Like you know, I can do that. Ooh. I was. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. Go go oh my goodness gracious! Um, I just like twenty twenty one. Don't know. Mild depression setting in. I'm like, is it still 2020? Um, um, I don't know about you guys. 2021, like, I'm like, yes, I'm ready. It's something new. And I'm like, no, the shadow is still on me. Um, <laughs> but also, that could be a uh, lack of nicotine. So, but Ooh. with that being said, I just want to let you know, Joy, I'm gaining my butt back because ah! when whenever I quit smoking, the stipulation is I don't care how much weight I gain. I don't care how much I binge on food. As long as if it's not a cigarette, I could care less. So mm. with that, I, I said to the girl at uh, at Walgreens who always like sees me, I sometimes I'll get like um already made like bottled beverages so like starbucks bottled beverages they cost a lot of money but i'm like mm -hmm. it's faster like compared to like me driving to to like a store like a dunkin donuts or something and like the line and stuff i'm like no I'll re i'd rather just go to walgreens yeah so i saw her and i was like because she was like you need cigarettes i'm like no it's been two weeks and she's like that's awesome and i was like yeah i'm like so i just keep on eating everything i'm like <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to be a circle with, like, a face mask, a visor, and a Hello Kitty hat. Like, that's, you're just going to see a circle. And I'm like, and that's fine. Like, I, I'm like, I'll deal with that later. I'm down for that ass, though. I'm ready for the, Ricky's butt to come back. Yes. Yes, please. Oh, oh, Rodney, you saw that tweet about 20, 2020 and 2021? Yeah. 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 Uh, dark. 
right? Like, I feel like some people are are still in on the not personally feeling the best right now. Um, yeah. Can you blame them though? Like, twenty twenty yeah. was pure basura, like straight up trash. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was it was straight garbage. Um, you know, I just can't wait until. I, on Friday, I'm supposed to be getting my vaccine, so I'll be getting my Ooh. first vaccine on Friday, and then I think it's either two or three weeks, then we'll have our the second dose. Yeah. Um, so just as long as if I stay negative, um, I'll be happy. Um, I don't have any um, allergies that I know of, and I'm not like, like, I'm pretty healthy, so should be okay. Um, yeah. Ooh, Rodney just said like the best thing. Yeah, it's not going to automatically go away just because it's finally a new year. Ab- absolutely. And did you um, hear that song? It's a uh, uh, the pandemic. It's like just because you're over it, the pandemic's <laughs> not over just because we're over it. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Pandemic's not over just because you're over it. Like it, it really. This girl made a whole song and she was like. You know, on the rooftops of New York, just being like, the pandemic's not over just because you're over it. That's so the truth. That is yeah. that is so true. Like, I'm still low key fuck 2020. Like, you know the the fuck 2020 song? No, I, I no, I I don't know that. The only thing, because like I haven't been paying, like, you know me for the past like month and a half i've just been like trying to like slide into my new thing and it's just consists of them like me just feeling like i have to work i have to do more work now uh the only thing i've seen is the tinder i think it's tinder or match.com mm. the match.com commercial and it has satan meeting somebody and he's like 2020 and she's like Call me 2020. And then they, they're going on dates. And then it was like, make oh. make this next year. Uh like swipe make... le- swipe left for that? Yeah, like it was just it was really it was cute. And they were like going on a date to Taylor Swift. Oh. Like just like do but they were doing like date stuff. Like it was just really I can't explain it. Um oh, God. Rick says, it sure didn't end well, but 2021 so far is okay. Ronnie said facts. Um, yeah. And Cindy oh. Lauper singing. That's the only thing. In which case, I just saw that on Twitter. And she What's did Cindy a Lauper? I she was like performing and it just was really um it was really funny. Um I think people oh, were God. saying that it was like really bad, but I it was the kind of bad that I enjoy. Okay. <laughs> um okay. Chris said, how can anyone even date in a COVID world. Um, People do. They have. I was reading on the news that apparently Miley Cyrus said she does a lot of FaceTime sex. Mm. (laughs) Mm. Yeah. That's a thing. We're gonna do it like we did it in 1994. I just watched on uh, Amazon Prime the uh, special is called Yearly Departed, and it was a bunch of female comedians. It, of course, Tiffany Haddish and Sarah Silverman and Phoebe Robinson and all these other like and all these other oh uh, uh, Natasha Leggero, 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 um, and Patty Harrison and Z Z Way Z Way. Yeah, there's and there's some other comedians too, like but. They basically did this special about 2020 and like what we're gonna be letting go. And Tiffany Haddish's whole thing was uh, casual sex. Like her topic was casual sex, and she was just talking about how, you know, in order for her to even have sex with people, she has to be in a fuck pod, and you have to have sex <laughs> with people in that fuck pod. And then if you want to do something else, you have to get permission from the fuck pod. And I was like, "This a fuck pod? Like people." You have fuck pods? Like, that's crazy. So she was just like, yeah, I can't even go over there because someone else was fucking outside the fuck pod. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just, it was something she was saying, like, even watching um, 
watching something was like, oh, I can't even watch Animal Planet anymore because have you ever seen crickets? Fuck. Like, it's just, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. So, it oh was my God. a still date. Oh my God. Oh yeah. I'm like, I, I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, wait, did you watch the, like, the documentary about 2020 on on uh, Netflix? No, not yet. I So we watched, that was like our 2020 thing that we watched. Mm-hmm. Um, it's so funny that events from like a year ago, I was like, I remember that. Really? <laughs> I was like, no, but it was just like, it's just like, oh yeah, that was so cute. How we felt like that was like, oh wow, this is getting started. Like I recall, like they were like show, showing like, and in Italy, uh, you know, people started, you know, hoarding stuff in Italy. And I was like, I remember when I was like watching that and I, cause it's funny once Italy, once they started to like, like their shelves were bare. Cause that would happen. Italy that happened like a month before it happened here. Mm-hmm. So cause Opal and Opal and Jay, they went to Disney and I literally was like talking to like Opal and I was like, yeah, just so you, I was like, I'm going to buy stuff now. I know it's like early, but just in case this gets bad, in which case I still have packs of ramen. I like, we still have pantry food from when yeah. I went out that one time because I was like, just in case like it gets bad and we don't have food, you know, mm-hmm. like we got it. Oh my God. But Ooh. yeah, it, in which case, cause if you think about it, it was like, oh yeah, that was cute. Like, like. Like, people were like, oh, like, because, like, everybody was like, oh, it's it's going to be nothing. Like, my mom was definitely, yeah. my mom was definitely, like, and I said to my mom, I'm like, I'm just doing this because it makes me feel better. That I have, like, a month, like, I could eat ramen, like, every day for breakfast and lunch, at, or, like, for, like, lunch and dinner for, like, a month. And, like, I'd have enough food, like, if every food store was closed down or, like, in which case, I'm like, I realize that that seems weird and that that's probably not going to happen, but it makes me feel better. So I, I'm like, I prep stuff. Like, I still, I have jugs of water still. Like, like I like prepped. No, you, you are fine because even my best friends down south, uh, South Jersey, she has a whole goddamn like Trader Joe's in her apartment, like straight up like shelves of water and That's so good. He's so organ her and her and her fiance. I was like, oh shit, I need to go shop at Joe House. Like, let me up some shit. Yeah. No, it's 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 crazy. But like it's so funny though because like that was like a year ago, you know? Like it just it seems so different. And like talking about it in past tense, like I feel like we've grown. Y- yeah. Mentally we've grown. Physically Emotionally, I don't think people have really um, grasped how serious this is, like how serious this virus is and how it affects everyone and anyone. And doesn't matter black, white, yeah. you know, what ethnicity. It's going to kill you if it wants to kill you. Like, Yeah. <sighs> I, I was going to say, unless, unless there's like some random ass thing where it's like, oh, like possibility maybe blood type might be different maybe like red like like it seems like there might be like because like right now it's like there's no rhyme or reason like maybe like years from now we'll be like oh like if you have this gene that's slightly like this maybe like you might be more susceptible in which case like but like as of right now, like we don't know anything, and it's just like really just random. Like, oh, ninety-year-old person makes it through; twelve-year-old kid doesn't. Like, so like that's why, and that's the thing that scares me is is that like, yeah, like when you say like oh, okay, like for the most part, it it affects this more, or like or like you hear like oh yeah, this person with asthma makes it. This person. Fit as a fiddle, like this athlete dies. So it's just like, um, as far as I'm concerned, I'm like, we all can die. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, and, you... and I, I know I saw something on Twitter, like earlier, being like, you know that the vaccine works because you see all these politicians and all of these, uh, you know, leaders grabbing for it, cutting in line instead of getting giving it to the central healthcare workers and people that have been dealing with this shit for yeah. months so it's like if the pe- if the politicians and everyone is trying to jump in line and get this vaccine it must be working it must be doing something i um so 
and I'm sure your mom can also speak up, speak to this or about this. Mm-hmm. Um, so working in a facility where it is, it is going to be available to me on Friday, um, knock on wood, of course. Uh, so I already, I signed up. I was like, I was like one of those people. I was like, um, I don't care what I have to do. If you have low stock, I'm like, I want it, you know, mm-hmm. in which case, like a lot of people are not like, a lot of people are very skeptical, um, talking about tail, like growing, like, am I going to grow a tail? Am I, I, and like my, my big thing, cause like, of, of course something could go wrong. Like I might have an allergy that I'm not aware of. Um, I'm pretty healthy. Um, no known allergies. Um, thank goodness are rapid tests. Um, for a while they were doing our rapid tests. And then if a positive came up, they would also do the other test like that way they would have confirmation because they kind of wanted to see like how like how good is this test and yeah. they stopped doing it because it was it was the same like it kept on being the same so they were like okay the rapid test is pretty it's it's pretty accurate in our book um so yeah. i was going to say like and also like like in my head like okay so like if like my arm isn't going to like blow up and I'm not going to have like a crazy allergic reaction, then like the worst thing that could happen is what? Like I possibly get COVID. Like that's a possibility already. <laughs> there is there is. Yeah. <laughs> that, I'm like, that's legitimately a possibility already. So like, and like considering all the foods that we eat, we don't know what the heck's in it when people are taking medicines, right? Like, Oh, you know, like I get, I get these, you know, herbs from, you know, the, from the grocery store. Like, do you know where the, unless, unless you're getting it from freaking Whole Foods. The actual source of the source. Yes. Then you don't know where you're getting it. So. I'm still on the fence about it. Yeah. But I'm also kind of like, I already had it. I already had COVID. So, I mean, like, I guess at some point I'm probably going to have to take it. Like it's. But people of color, like especially, we're we're not so hyped up, I guess, because like even my mom, like like I said, she now she's going through chemo and radiation, and she's kind of yeah. like, if they have to, if they have to, t- if they're telling me I have to take it right now, like I literally can't be a nurse because I'm just not, like I'm not gonna be able to have that and then have this stuff go through my body, and I'm already doing a bunch of stuff, but we're just more. Like she's, she was fun, like, you know, she was saying, cause I, I went down to my house on uh, December 31st. Yeah. So she was like, yeah, I mean, you know, obviously I've taken my flu shots. I've taken all the shots. Yeah. Like I need to, I can do that. But this thing, I don't know. Like the way that they've been doing it, obviously, you know, we're all kind of like, oh, they made a vaccine and like, yeah. you know, the last few months. And then I was told, well, clearly it's, it happened because like all the, everybody, all the doctors, all the scientists that were working on other vaccines stopped to work on this vaccine so that it could come out faster. And then it's just like, all right, then there's delays and then this, this, and then the fucking dude in Wisconsin fucking took the vials out. And you're just like, are you trying to kill people? Like, it's just, uh, it's just yeah. so weird. Uh, so I'm not, yeah, I'm not I've, jumping on the train to get it right now. Yeah. I'll be the first. But I ain't yeah. gonna be last. Yeah, I, and and one of the things that I always say, especially at work, because there is there is a a lot of people that are. I was gonna say, well, even at my job, there are people that are like, I'm not getting the flu shot. Like mm, I haven't like even done that. At, at, <laughs> like they say, uh, the, there are people that they're just like, I'm not getting the flu shot at all. In which case, like, okay, like it's your body, it's your choice, you know. Mm. Um, but it's one of those things that I'm like. Okay, it's the like I'm happy. I don't have polio. Like they were able, oh. you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. I mean, like polio, oh, or yeah. like now kids have the chicken pox. You know what I mean. And I get that it's uh, like the fact that they pressed it out so fast. But like, I'm like, as opposed to like the other. I'm like the worst. Like in my mind, in which case there could be like random ass things that could happen. But for the most part, like the worst case scenario is getting COVID. And for me. But- the other thing, because my friend, um, we watched the video on CNBC, and they're like, you get the COVID, but you can't, I mean, you get the vaccine, but you can't sue the, like, God forbid, for, for side effects or anything. You can't, they have immunity for, like, four years. I'm like, 
Yeah. What? So like, God forbid there is something that happens with you. I can't say anything or do anything or you're, you're fine to do this for four years until there's cases built against you. Like what? Like, yeah. so, uh, that's, that's kind of set me off. Like that's, that's, it's not weird. Of course, but they, your own ass, but it's kind of like, mm. but they kind of have, in a, in a way they kind of, it's, it's like, it's protocol. you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like, you know, when we learned about in first aid class, how like, how like, if you're doing CPR, or not CPR, if like, you're doing the Heimlich maneuver, and if you break somebody's ribs. Oh, it's kind of like, like I was trying to save your life. But yeah, the, like, the Good Samaritan, uh, like, like, we try, like, like, we, tr like, we tried, like, we knew that. Off, my bad, but also, you got a rib broken. I, I was gonna say, I see it both ways. Like, I understand how, like, why you'd be like, like, but also, yeah. like, in a way, like, if they didn't do something like that, then nobody would make a vaccine because it would be too risky, you know? Because just yeah. in case, then they could lose, then that company could literally, it's a catch-22. And, yeah. but the way that I see it is, is that, well, it's your body, it's your choice. And either, either way. Yeah. Well, I won't be the first, but I'm not going to be the last. Like, I'm, but, I'm sure we'll have to take it at some point. Like, no, I was gonna say I, you wouldn't have to have to take it. Um, I was gonna say what, like seventy? What is it, like seventy percent of the population? Probably. I mean, for I, like her, I think first or last because people are still running around here like it doesn't exist. I'm like, yeah. we're gonna have to eventually all take this because people are like, COVID schmovid. Like we're not wearing masks and we're fine. I'm like. Bitch, you the one walking around asymptomatic as fuck and don't even want to get tested. Like, you need to chill. <laughs> you need to chill. Sit your yeah. way home. I was going to say, but also you should you should still have immunity. So, like, hmm. I, look. Yeah, I'm no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm hoping and praying because. Yeah, like, no, I was going to say you'd have it, you'd have it for, you'd have it for a while. Yeah, because I mean, I, I, we did the, um, we did the. PCR testing and the COVID testing. Oh, I did. We we both did it, but I'm just saying, like, I had more tests, I think, that uh, Christmas Eve. Yeah. So it was just like, I had to get the thing up my nose again, and then the PCR, and then the blood was taken, and, and then they were like, you have no antibodies. I'm like, I know, because I'm taking another medicine to suppress my antibodies. So <laughs> oh, that's really sucks. That's like, oh my god, wait a minute. No, you're really screwed. You're definitely gonna at some point you definitely need the vaccine. Wait, would a vaccine even wait a minute? Would it even stay in your system? I don't know. I don't know. Because like the That's that's the thing. My medicine, which I just took December 31st. My um which my medicine was already like probably drifting out of my body by November, because that's when I start to feel shit like in yeah. my head and in my, my leg or whatever. Um, my, it's Ocrevus, the multiple sclerosis medicine yeah. suppresses my immune system. It's a, it's a immunosuppressant drug, which are uh, immunosuppressant infusion. Yeah. So it's like, bitch ain't had no antibody. So I needed to be at home. And then yeah. when I got the COVID, I was grace, uh, gr grateful that what I did go through wasn't me ending up in a hospital. Yeah. No, no. Oh, absolutely. Cause I was like, Oh God, I mean, I, I can't be susceptible to stuff. Like it's crazy. I wear two masks every day, all day, every day. Yeah. So when, when it was like, Oh, you're negative now. I was like, Oh, thank fucking God. Cause yeah. like I really couldn't. And baby's been great. Like baby's been wonderful. She was making all sorts of wonderful, delicious, healthy, you know, I was staying away from dairy and eggs and stuff. So it's, yeah. it, it was been wonderful. Oh, so me and her are both, you know, we tested negative. She's gone back to work and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, after I got the infusion, I was like, okay, well, I'm immunosuppressed again. Like, I can't be out here just lingering and yeah. shit. But look, I spent all fucking day today at a Pet Boys with all these other people. Like, all these, all these strangers I've never been around. So I was just like, fuck. I'm happy that you wear glasses. Uh, I like I don't I don't know if you're a weirdo like me. I wear a visor everywhere and I've I've worn a visor since March like out mm -hmm. in public. Like mm -hmm. uh only only once or twice in public did I not wear a, a visor and it's literally because Cupid makes fun of me. Um oh. like I mean I would do it too but you know like you said my glasses I, and I wash my glasses. 
I yeah. wash my face. I wash my. I wash everything when I when I come here, come home, head to yeah. toe. Wash. I mean, this is why probably why my hair is so you know nice and thick because I'm washing it more than ever now. Yeah, I'm washing, yeah. conditioning, all that stuff. But yeah, I wash my face, wash my glasses, wash you know my eyes, and you know cl- try to get the the black heads off my nose. Like I do all the things, yeah. you know. So. Because I, I think one of the uh, one of the reasons why I've been lucky at work is because of the fact that I wear a visor, and I've mm-hmm. worn a visor like I've worn a visor before. It was like, oh, everybody in the hallway needs to wear a visor, like or like when you're just in there. Um, and the reason why I've always worn a visor is because of the fact that, like, yeah, I know that they said the thing about like, oh, the droplets could like stay in the air for X amount of time. That's not the reason. Like, the real reason why I'm, like, I'm going to wear a visor everywhere is literally for the fact that, like, the amount of times I or anybody touches their face and they don't even realize it. Mm -hmm. So, like, for me, the best thing is to, like, wear something, like, wear a visor literally over my face. So, like, I'm not adjusting my mask. I'm not, like, putting my mask down to be, like, oh, I just want to whisper something to you. Like, I'm not not doing that. I'm not scratching my nose. I'm not – I. I got a boogie in my eye. No, it freaking stays in my eye. Or I go into the bathroom, wash my hands, do what I need to do, rewash my hands. Like, at, for the most part, like, and I'm, do you know what I do? I, I freaking sang. So it's so funny, though, when I'm, like, talking to people and they have to, like, put their mask down, I freaking sing through a mask. Yes. Like, if I can, like, sing through a mask and if people can hear me, then guess what? You can, like, whatever you have to say, just project. Oh yeah, like I even when I I uh, I still just like Bibi and I just for safety reasons too. When we go to see her mom, like we still wear masks, like yes. just in, you know obviously because yes. I don't want we don't want anything to happen to her mom. And her mom is wonderfully independent. She just does stuff. She go outside. She do what she want to do. But um, because she's a badass and I love her. But like just in case, you know, I don't want to be tracking stuff in her house and and. Even though I forgot, almost forgot, I definitely forgot to take my shoes off. <laughs> I was walking and they're like, shoes. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. But um, yeah, I just, we go, I go over there and I'm just like, all right, I want to make sure that you're safe. But uh, lost my train of thought with Auntie. Totally forgot why. Uh, shoes, uh, face, visor. Uh- oh, I wear the, so when I go over there, I'll wear, at first I was wearing the two masks, like, cause, like usual, but then I decided like, what if I just wear one? Take, yeah. And it's the cloth one. Like I didn't wear the, the, um, surgical one because yeah. I was only going over there for a hot second. Like, all right, I'll see you later. And then I come back and I wasn't even in there. I was like by the door Yeah. to go over back to this side. And I was like, people are legitimately complaining for one mask. Like I wear two, and it's definitely hotter than this. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I need to stop. I was gonna. There, it's complaining just to complain. Um, yeah. Um, I'm. I'm just like seriously. I'll, I'll wear the surgical, and then I'll wear a cloth mask over that. Yeah. Yep. And I'm already, and I've been breathing. Like I wore that thing for hours today, sitting at the at the pet boys. Like this is fine. The one chick that just kept putting her nose, like, kept messing with it. I was like, girl, stop. Like, just stop. <laughs> I, I like, yeah, like, it's not doing anything. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, wait a so, second. People, yeah, they really don't care. Mm. Oh, we got, a, we got a couple of messages. Uh, first and foremost, Rodney says that he needs to doctor his ramen up. That yeah. is true. I want to crack an egg in some ramen right now. Like, yeah. Um, that sounds good to me. Uh, and Rodney says it seems like people just don't care anymore. I agree. I think everybody, for the most part, everybody's over it, especially around the holiday season, like just driving around to work, like seeing all of the cars lined up at the stores, mm. like to like pick something up, like not holiday related, just to do like regular grocery shopping and to see the amount of people just like, I, I think that actually in a way, people kind of got worse because they were yeah. so good for so long that now they're just like, I don't care. Yeah. They all just collectively decided not to give a fuck all around the same time. And I'm like, just because the pandemic's not over, just because you're over it. Like, you yeah. can't just be out here like, I've been in the house for my- Well, yo bitch ass gonna stay in the house some more if you keep yeah. doing what you're doing. Yeah. 
but then I also don't miss people. Like I really don't. I don't like I miss obviously I miss my friends. I miss y'all. I miss yeah. being around you all, but I don't miss having to go to the store and seeing being a bunch, around a bunch of strangers I've never I don't miss blowing out candles on a birthday cake. I don't yeah. miss waiting in line for shit. Like I, yeah. I don't miss fucking going to work. Fuck work. Like why do I why do I want to miss that? Yeah. Ugh, labor. Gross. I um I was going to say I miss small intimate house parties. And by house parties I mean having a couple of people over to play board games. That is the only thing that I miss. That mm. is the only group situation in which case you can't have one you, you like you can't have one without the other. So either it's yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like I, with the exception of like, let's say if, if, you know, like a couple and another couple, like the bubble, right? Did you hear about that in Canada? No. So the way that they were doing it in Canada when it was still like pretty good, um, they said, okay, so think of your, your household as a bubble. So all the people in your household, as long as you know that you guys are safe, like not making any extraordinary risks, like you're just like you're you're going to the grocery store, but you're not doing anything else. You're not seeing any other people. Well, then if you have a couple if or if you have another family that, you know, is doing the exact same thing, then you could both go to each other's house, but you can't see anybody else. Mm -hmm. And so it's like an extended bubble. So you can bring people into your bubble as long as if vice versa, the problem is, is, is being able to trust those people and making sure that they're doing stuff the same as you. But like, I was going to say, the thing about it is though, is, is that like, you kind of know, like your friends, like, you know, who's going to be the one that's like having like crazy parties and who is like, no, I'm like legitimately just going to the food store and that's it. Like, yeah. so in a way it's like, it's kind of like having sex, right? It's, it's kind of like having sex with somebody and being like, oh, well, I hope that like, they're not screwing around with a bunch of people, you know, like you have to like, kind of put your faith in them. But as long as if you know, for, as long as if, um, you know, these people and that their, their best interest is for you to be safe and for them to be safe, then it, then it's good. Yeah. Ooh. Um, Rodney says that he also misses hanging out with his friends and traveling. Oh, rice, yeah. rice and beans combined make almost all the amino acids we need to survive for a very long time. So stock up. Oh yeah. Rice and beans is dope. <laughs> us, us, uh, Afro Latinas, Afro Latinx people had it right with the, with the rice and beans. We can, we can chef up. Well, I say we, like I'm cooking shit. Baby over here be cooking, cooking, planting and, and everything. Like, yo, baby be out here cooking. And I just, I love it. Uh, I think that, that's the only thing that I would miss is that we can't, we haven't gone anywhere. Like in terms of a vacation or like a, a you know, getaway trip or we didn't get to, we couldn't really do, we couldn't do that. So I do miss being able to go out and like, oh, we get to go to a movie or go to a restaurant, but just with her. Like, I, yeah. like, uh, I wasn't missing nothing with nobody, really. Like, the concerts, not really. And even Bibi, she bought virtual tickets for us to see Gorillaz. And so Aww. to see Gorillaz in the comfort of our own, our home, like, that's, that's awesome. But everybody else, no. You know who doesn't agree with you? Rodney. He, he misses going to events and to restaurants, so... Not really. I, don't. I was gonna say Rodney misses a, Rodney misses a lot. Chris said that he he manages a restaurant and it hurts. Takeout is busy, but servers are losing shifts. Um, yeah. I I'm that just sucks. I'm just happy that it's like it's still sort of okay for like not the best for restaurants right now, but compared to what it was almost a year ago, like. Like that was probably that was super hard. And Rick says, "What is the sex you speak of?" I know. Like, what is what is that? <laughs> That's a foreign concept now. What? I miss board games, and the reason why I miss board games is because I have so many board games, and like the minimum amount of players is three. Oh. So yeah. I'm, and like when I tell you, like I know, uh, I think I've showed my um 
my coffee table. My coffee table has a drawer and it's full of board games and not like, not like it's Monopoly. It like, no, like crazy board games that like Aww. you can't find any. They're, you like, can't play it just by yourself or you with you and Cupid. It's just kind of like you need more people. Josephine can't play. <laughs> Josephine can't play, uh, though. Uh, one of the games I'm like, oh, well, we could like cheat it out where like where each of us can control two players. I'm like, yeah. there's w one game that I know that we can do that. Um, but um, Josephine can't play. And Chris is saying that there's even research stating that the vaccine isn't as effective for non-white people. I believe it. The vaccine's racist. I believe it too. <laughs> Who made it? Like I, I because the, and it's not even so much about to me racism. It really is the fact that there aren't there isn't a lot of research on other ethnicities' bodies. Like yeah. I'm sure my That's... MS is literally based off of a white woman's and and uh anatomy. Probably probably a white man. Or I'm sorry, yeah. It's, yeah, it's like, that's like the heart attack, right? Like the, the symptoms of like, like when they're like, oh, when you feel this. And it's like, no, for women, it's most likely going to happen in like the jaw or the ear. Which they never tell us. They don't tell us anything. It's like, oh, and that's why another reason why I was so, not even because like, obviously men are men, but like, I, I don't want to have any more male doctors. Like, I'm sick of being told, like, if I do feel something in my body, the men... And again, it can't even really be against them because this is what they learned in the medical school, but kind of like, but you don't really, because I think you're still assuming that black people don't feel pain as much as white people do. And that's like, that was a historical piece of, that was in their medical books. Like, oh yeah, black people don't feel as much pain as white people do. So blah, 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 it's fine. So when black people complain of pain, I complain of chest pain and you're like, oh bitch, you're fine. You're just having an anxiety attack. So, like, can I have an anxiety attack in peace without you prescribing me Prozac? Like, what the fuck? Like, it's just, ah. Uh. You know what that 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 reminded me of, like, uh, during the Cold War, like <laughs> saying that Russians don't feel cold. Like, because, because like, yeah, yeah, no, I've, I've, and with with that being said, when I got my molars out, like, I didn't. They prescribed me like the pers they they Horrid. the the drugs. Horrid. I didn't use them. I, I didn't use them because oh, like, because yeah. I'm just like my, because my pain tolerance, my pain tolerance is really high, I guess. I like, oh no, my mom, like when I got my, when I got my wisdom teeth taken out, they definitely got, had me on that Vicodin. <laughs> and my mom was like, fuck no, like you don't need Vicodin. <laughs> you don't need to be addicted to painkillers, my child. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mom, she's like, yes, you don't need that. And then when yeah. I go for, for the, you know, the anxiety a, attack yeah they prozac bam my mom's like bitch don't need no prozac good they're quick to give you these drugs and then they're like well why are these people addicted to drugs and then yeah. you, you you do it yeah you're, you're making you're creating the monster that you but then again it's like is that part of big pharma like you, we're not supposed to be well we're supposed to be on de, we're supposed to be dependent on pills and medicines and this and it's just oh it's ridiculous that um one of the last things that I'm going to say that completely reminds me of the um, the Pink Ribbon documentary. I know I've always I've mentioned it a couple of times. Literally, it's about the fact that like um, like the Susan B. Coleman Foundation, like they're not looking for a cure for cancer. They are looking for a treatment for cancer that will treat it like diabetes. That way, you need to take a pill uh, for the rest of your life in order for it to subside or whatever. Uh, it's kind of like. Like when I hear about the amount of people that got their thyroid taken out, because mm, mm -hmm. that's what scares me about the thyroid is because I'm just afraid that they are taking out thyroids willy nilly because once you take that out, you need to be on the the hormone medicines for the rest of your life. Like, oh yeah, that's um, I I follow someone on uh, Patreon. Oh, I followed her before, like on Twitter. I still follow her. Duh. Yeah. But she had that whole thing when she was, she's still going through her chemo and she like has, I think she's been in, I think she's been in a remission now, okay. but you had that same thing. She was like, no, fuck the Susan B. Coleman. Cause there is literally, I can't even, cause she was, and she's had, she's had plenty of blogs and like yeah. entries and stuff for um, Patreon. Her name is Carly, Carly Hustle. Um, and she was just like, no, it's literally, I can't even say fuck cancer because the way that they 
they market Susan B. Co- like the, it's a whole, and I walked for breast cancer when I was young. Obviously, I was like 11 and shit. Yeah. But yeah, I'm like, uh uh-uh, uh, y'all not. And even with my, with my own thing, I'm like, I don't think y'all are trying to cure this. You're literally just, because the amount of money, the buku dollars that these doctor's office get from just me having one person getting an infusion alone, that's like grand, that's five grand. That's like six, seven grand. Like I, who knows how much the doctors get? <laughs> the motherfucker not even in there. Yeah. He ain't even in there with me. We don't even talk. I haven't seen this motherfucker in like a year. Like, so, but he getting money off of me. So I'm just like, yeah. no, nah, I'm, I'm done. So, um, I did lose taste, not for everything though. And you know, it's weird. Like, um, it was ice. It was like, I was, I've been eating a lot of ice. Like last year I was eating a lot of ice, like just, just straight up, you know, like the little Lego men people. And I was eat, like me talking about it makes me salivate, but it's so good now because I haven't had it in a few days. I tried it today and it doesn't, it's like maybe because I had that break of me not eating it and then I tried it again and it's like, it doesn't even, not because I can't taste it, but it doesn't taste the way, the way that it used to. So now I feel even better about the fact that I'm not eating it anymore. Because before I was like, I got to have it every day. Like I want to eat it. I can't wait to eat. I can't wait to chew it. Like I can't wait to like crunch, crunch, crunch. And then I had it and I was like, yeah, "Ah!" like I'm trying to find find the same spark, like how it was. And now I'm like, it's, it's not even that anymore. It's like, this is just me. Why am I eating this? So it's, so I had, I lost the sense of taste for the ice. It came back. And now that I'm not even eating ice like how I used to aggressively, I don't even want it, which I'm grateful now because like that shit wasn't normal anyway for me to just be chomping on ice every fucking day. Um, but yeah, I lost this. I lost the sense of taste for ice and I couldn't taste certain food like auntie, like auntie makes bomb food, amazing food, but I couldn't really, it wasn't hitting. Like I knew I was eating food, but I wasn't tasting all the flavors of everything. But that came back. I can, uh, yum, yum, I'm yumming everything. Uh, and, yeah, and then the only other thing was just like there was a, a bit of a sharp pain a little bit when I would inhale okay. in, in my, I don't want to say my lungs, but just kind of like in between my chest cavity or whatever, I would feel okay. a sharp pain. Other than that, I was fine. Oh, um, I it's funny, Rick said something and then he was like, uh, it took a powder from me. Took a powder? Like a, like like a powder break is that does that have to do with like powder like i need to go powder my nose is that like a southern i feel like that's a southern expression desire took a powder from me what is took a yeah rick what's took a powder what that mean we from the north (laughs) yeah i was gonna say is that like like that powder or like this powder i feel like like a powder break like desire took a break from me Right, I I don't know. It that sounds very southern, unless it's a whole ass typo, and we're just analyzing this typo. I don't know. I feel like it's very like, wow. It took a powder. It had been so very foreign from me, <laughs> took for a much pow- before. Desire had taken a powder from me. Oh my god! Now you sound right. like um fucking uh, the killer mockingbird. <laughs> I was thinking it was more. Streetcar. Mm. Oh, name desire. It left. Mm. It left. What left? The desire. It, like, left? like a powder, like gun, like a gunpowder, like, like it, it was gone. Like I don't, I don't. Rick, you have us in a tizzy. I we, uh, <laughs> anything that gets me in in a really bad Southern Bell accent, I'm very pro. Wait, what is you trying to say? Hopefully, Georgia does its job, though. Shout out to y'all, you being down near Georgia. We need we need this win so we can get some more stimulus and you know. So she can take a powder. She can take a powder. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, 
McConnell turtle looking motherfucker. Like he need to go. I I was gonna say, you know who else needs to take a powder? Who? Oh, I do. I do. Yeah. I um I worked a I worked a long hour today. Yes, and thank you, Ronnie. Thank you, Ronnie, because I was gonna mention you for this. I'm like, I know today was the day. <laughs> hope you vote. We hope you voted. Like it just, we all need this. Okay, but yeah, you you need to take a powder. I uh, I am going to take a powder, and I now have a new expression. Um. First and foremost, we would like to thank, in no particular order, Chris, Rick, and Rodney. Well, that was in particular order. That was order of appearance, if we're being honest. Yeah. Um, um, thank you very much, Joy. Is there anything that you would like to plug that's coming up? Uh, when when are your stream days? Uh, I stream Mondays and Thursdays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be streaming another Team 17 game because uh, yesterday I played one called Beyond Eyes mm -hmm. and I have to edit that and put it up on Instagram and stuff. So you can check me out on Twitch. Same name, same times I mentioned. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much pretty much the thing. I mean, there's so many things I was going to tell you about, but I think that we'll save it for, for the I next I was going to say, yeah, it, today was like just like a wrap up of 2020. I feel yeah. like today was very like 2020 heavy, which was, which was, it was a good nightcap for 2020. Or yeah. can you believe it was like, like we're like, that was like the, like, that was like the, end. the, the tens are done, the tens are done. And like, we've already like, like, it's not like, oh, it's the, like, no, it's like, like, Boom! Like that's ah, oh, oh, I can't even talk about that. To think oh, yeah. that like the tenth, like we like we're like really, really done with a decade, you oh, know? Because yeah. like you're still last... holding on to it with the 2020, you know? We're the last people that's like we were born in the 90s. Like we we're born for real, for real. Because now you see all these kids and they're like born in 2000 and 2005 and seven and nine, and you're just like, yeah. what? In 2020, like the one chick was like, "Oh yeah, I'm 20, I'm 21." I was like, "Girl, I remember when you were five. Like that's crazy yeah. right yeah. now." Like, yeah. Oh yeah, and also I was born in '89, so like. Oh yeah, you're definitely like getting, we're all getting to be relics. Yes, in which case the in which case like the like our our parents are like, are, oh, everybody's God. like sh everybody's like shut up, you guys. <laughs> no, for real. Cause Just because like we're now feel like. We can feel a little bit of a little bit of experience, you know. Oh yeah, because even when I spoke to my mom, I was like, "Oh my god, like you're 55, and like my dad's my dad's going to be like 59, I think, this year." Oh, that's that's crazy. In the next few weeks, I'm just like, "Yo, my parents, like, y'all, oh look, yeah, right, yo, see, my mom was my dad was 62, and my mom was 65." Uh, so they're, they're a little after you, but it's it's definitely y'all in the, around the same boat. So. Uh. We just really need to appreciate all of you while you're here. Oh, look at that booty. Um, <laughs> gotta appreciate y'all while you're here, you know? Because it's oh, yeah. people, people are, what was it? Like, MF Doom died, and then Dr. Dre had a brain aneurysm. Like, what else is happening right now? This It's only been five days. Five days in, in January. What the fuck is going on with these? <sighs> look. So we just got to appreciate life and, you know, be grateful for what we have and uh, make this money and don't die. Yeah. And wear an epic V-neck. Yes. Oh, yeah. With your, with your deep ass V-neck. I see you. With the chest. I see you. Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. Oklahoma. And also play, um, play Pokemon Shield because I'm playing it now. Okay. So I need to get that now. Or play ch short, shield, whatever you get. Like, I just know, get, go play. Because now I'm finally getting addicted to the Switch after two years or of having one. I finally can be like, oh, I want to play. So, need an she needs Animal Crossings. Oh, yeah. They, they, I know. You're not, the only, you're not the first one. You're not the last one trying to get us addicted to Animal Crossing. But yes. Oh, oh yeah. I, I, like, I like my villagers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Eventually, maybe. Probably. We'll see. <laughs> Anyway, but yes, oh, Yasumi Nasai. Oh, Yasumi Nasai. Okay, I need to stop saying that because you guys are going to actually. 
I like it better when you guys think that I don't know how to say it. Yeah, no, just you continue to say it incorrectly. It's fine. I say it thanks to Rodney. I say it when I stream at the end. Like, good night. And then Rodney's like, Oklahoma. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I love it when I say it wrong because it's not me. It's like me being the butt of the joke. Like, it's been how long? Like, shut up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that. Oh, my God. I have to tell you about how my my parents met Bibi and her mom. Cliffhanger. 